Hello, my peepers. Welcome to a new episode of what's new in Shaleen's Neck of the Woods. Okay, I have my cup of tea. It's gingerbread by T Tivana. And it's lukewarm now because I've been messing around with the camera and everything else. So, we are going to continue on with this and hopefully finish it today. Let me get everything out. I was cleaning off the table. I have an old dresser of my grandfather's that Dylan had used for a while until he bought a nice bedroom set. And so it's just been sitting in my living room. So I finally took out the drawers and put it into my creativity room. And so it has six drawers, I believe. Five drawers. The top drawer has the next set of coloring books for my color lawns and buddy colors. I'm going to start coloring. I'm just going to color this a little bit more lawn in there. Um, yeah, so that's the first drawer. Plus I have a pile of um, six coloring books that um, I'll be coloring in off camera. What am I doing? I don't even know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> That's not where I want that color. Okay, brush. So, I came in here, cleared off my table, and set it up, put the I've got my snowflake fabric as a tablecloth. I really don't need to buy poster board or anything because I have tons of fabric and I don't sew. I bought it to do finishes of my cross stitch pieces and the fabric just sits in piles in, in a bag in a cupboard. So why not use it as tablecloths? It doesn't need to be neat, and I didn't iron it because you only see small sections of it. And that this color here is orange glaze. So I cleared off the table, and all the piles that were on the table were able to go into the dresser because I was working on the um, Christmas ornaments from Johanna's Christmas coloring book with Erin from um, Simple Art for Adults. And I had that sitting here with the Prisma colors because she's using Prisma colors. So I put that in the dresser, so that freed up a spot. And then all the color lawn for the Christmas color lawn, those books were sitting in a pile on this table. And I thought, this table's just not functioning for me. It was getting too cluttered. And I had asked Scott if there was any way we could get a shelf and put it up on the wall up above this table. But I know that won't happen for a while. And I thought, well... I wanted to use that dresser anyways to put coloring stuff in and my cross stitch stuff. So I'm only using up two drawers because then the second drawer is my whips and my finishes. And I very seldom have whips and coloring, but um, 
I did because oh and I forgot to tell you that color was light cadmium red bear with me bear with me whoops I'm going back with the orange glaze See, I wanted more of a yellow in here, but I don't know why I didn't get that. I just didn't. But I think this color will work okay. So anyways, organizing again. <laughs> but my table looks much better. There's more room. And this color is light cadmium red, and I'm going in here. So I was going to put a shelf up above so that the next coloring book, like I'm going to be working in Magical Jungle, Mythomorphia, this book, Summer Nights, Magical Delights, and... Bennett Klein um, color my sketchbook three so I planned on this color is pale geranium lake I planned on just coloring in those off camera to because I'm following tutorials on them except for the Bennett Klein because I really can't find much of his on YouTube channels of people coloring in. If you know of any, let me know. So, um, again, orange glaze. So those six books are sitting in the top drawer on the right side and then my color lawns and color buddies buddy colors books are sitting in the drawer on the left side in the top drawer I'm gonna go right in here with the orange glaze too It's, what time is it? I covered my clock. It is quarter after two and I'm just sitting down to color. It seems like everybody wanted to chat this morning while I was trying to clean. And I had to take a shower and yeah, it was taking me forever. I watched one video, I think that's it this morning. Um, there's two um, color tubers that are working together on a giveaway and you have to watch their videos every day and leave comments and the drawing is um, New Year's Eve I know the one color tuber is Color My World, and I think, I don't swear by this, I think the other one's KP Designs, I'm not positive, I'm, that doesn't seem right. I will um, put a link down below for that. for both of them so you know how I had told you in my last video that the dog 
had taken one of my peepers and had got the peeper wet. Yeah, well, this this afternoon, not too long ago, I was setting up the table here, and I look. I'm going back in to make these darker. And I'm like, what is that little label on my table? So the cat. One of the cats came in and chewed the little red tag that attached this to here. I don't know what the animal's problems are this weekend, but I'm not happy with any of them. That they think that they can just come in here and ruin my stuff. Another reason why I wanted everything put in drawers, so in the dresser, because my cats and dog are boogers. They are boogers. Okay, so I know that looked funky. Then I have a grass there, so I'll have to fix that. And do you think I wrote down those colors? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh boy. I'm using a little bit of hard pressure so because I'm not blending. So, that could be the male person, or Scott could be home, because you know her, she barks at everything. I have the package coming from Amazon, and I am not sure if that's coming regular mail or UPS, so it could be the UPS guy dropping it off. Hold on, I will be right back. Being in the butt. What is the problem? Okay, I'm back. She was barking at Scott. <laughs> so, in my email, I have folders for like each coloring book that I like to watch tutorials some are the book some folders are just a specific book and some are the artist so then when I want to go color that certain book I can go in and look up some of the tutorials to see who I would like to watch and color that page with
So Catherine and I have been chatting a lot this morning. She's hoping to be out here again for a few days after Christmas. So hopefully we can get together and color again. She said she'll, she should be out here again in February and Easter break. So, and she said she's out this way quite a bit in the summer. So it's nice to have a coloring friend. I mean, I do have my mom and I have my friend Kathy that lives out here. It's just nice getting together with... Other, I see, I don't know what to do in through here. It's just a bunch of lines. It's not this and it's not... It doesn't look like grass. There's just lines. I don't know what that is. So she said she might be out here between the 27th and the 31st. And I said, well, I'll be babysitting during the week. And I don't know yet when we're doing Christmas with my in-laws. They haven't decided yet if it's going to be the 23rd or the 30th. So I said, well, I don't do anything. New Year's Eve, so we can always get together the day of the 31st. And she says, well, if we don't have money to go shopping at the... See, here's some more of those lines. So I don't understand what it is. Kind of looks like part of this flower that they're joined together. I don't know. So she said if we don't have the money to go shopping, we'll just get together and color. And so said, well, my house is always open too, so... We might just end up having her here for the day and color in. And then she said in the springtime or this summer, I can go to her mom, her parents' house and we can color there. Because her mom likes to color too and then she showed me um, some of her mom's finishes and they're beautiful. And in a few years she's planning on moving out this way. After her daughter graduates. As I said, you know, what's like the halfway mark between my house and where she lives in Long Island? And she said that would be Albany. And I said, well, we could always meet outside of Albany. But she said no, because her mom, she visits her parents quite a bit. So, okay.
So my pencil case came in from Amazon. So I will do a, the swatch video today too of those Moma Muji pencils. Moma Muji, something like that. Moma Mujis, I think they're called. So, click OK. Do that video. Hoping I can finish this picture in this video. I don't want to have to do a part nine. So last night I wrote two letters to pen pails while waiting for videos to upload because they're taking forever right now. And tonight I'll be watching a Hallmark movie. I think there's Hallmark movie on the Hallmark channel. There's one on the Hallmark movie mystery mystery movie channel. And I think there's a third movie either tonight or tomorrow night on the Lifetime. So it's either three movies tonight or tomorrow night. I can't remember. I want to give a shout out to Anne. Her dad has pneumonia. She's been taking care of him. So prayers for Anne and her dad. I see she's got two videos up for her Christmas color lawn, so I have to watch those two yet. I have quite a f I have like 20 videos to get caught up on. So I might do some of that tomorrow. Plus I have one of Erin's to watch for the she colored another one or two ornaments from Johanna's Christmas and she just did another video of coloring in the grayscale coloring books so I have to watch that one I just don't have enough hours in the day because with the internet being so slow when I'm uploading, I can't use the internet for anything else. Not even on my phone. I have to turn the Wi-Fi off on my phone if I want to do anything. And I have such poor reception. All I can do is text and do pre Facebook messages. I can't even go in and look at pictures. So...
I will upload while watching the movie. And I'm doing, I forgot to put the load of laundry in. I'll fold laundry. I don't know why she's growling now. Who's she growling at? I'm going to pull my boots up. Oh. Yeah. Mm. What's the matter? Daddy leaving again? She's just very vocal today. I have stew going in the crock pot. That'll be ready around 5.30. I gotta remember to start setting up my laptop in here because they have YouTube tags you can look up and there's questions and you can answer them and it gives you, me something to talk about. I have had a few people say they don't mind the background music and I've had a few say that they unsubscribe from people that do that. I'm like, well, I don't do it that often. It would just be once in a while. But if I'm making two or three videos in a day, I run out of things to talk about. I did vacuum all the rooms today. I did the breakfast and lunch dishes. Took my shower. I still got to do laundry. Okay, so those flowers are all done. Oh, no, they're not. There's another one. There's one there. 
Well, you can still see what I'm doing, right? Yep. I was making sure my um, tripod is set up so I can reach this. It's right almost in front of me. I just had to adjust to the arm that the camera sits on. So I know I'm at an angle for you. I finally got a message from Amazon that they mailed out the chair that I ordered last Sunday. It's like, are you serious? Almost a week took you to mail it out. I will have that on Monday the 11th. And then what I ordered from Amber is sitting in Queens, New York right now. So this should be here in a few days. Okay, I have some more green. See, I don't know what this is. There's just lines of what? I don't understand what the lines are. And I got this still, this purple part here. And oh boy, what purple did I use? What did I use? What did I use? did I use? I gotta start writing colors down. So what's the time? We are at 35 minutes. 
Okay, so I need to go do some of these stems. So since they're there, I think I'm just going to go in with chromium green oxide and just straight color them. stem there that goes up to this flower and there's all kinds of more grass I guess yellows Treating this like there's just some more grass, so that's all I'm doing through there. Stems. Okay, and I still don't understand why it shows grass up here when we have grass down here, and that I thought would be the sky, so I don't understand this picture. So let's go and... Um, do some grass here. Put away these colored pencils, the oranges. And we'll get out some grass colors. Okay. Let's go with leaf green. grass green and permanent green and we're just going to come down in here and lightly color and I just found another piece of grass there so you know what we're just coloring because grass is all different colors Nothing has to look the same. And that's how I roll. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to do a light layer. Color in small circles. I didn't know what to do with this. I'm thinking I might do either the silver glitter gel pen or a pink glitter gel pen for the border.
sip of tea, which is now cold. But that's okay. I don't mind it being cold. So this morning I was texting with Jessica to see how she's doing and how her dog Mason is doing because I'm sure he's mourning it. Tinkerbell as well. And I was chatting with Nikki and Catherine. I might just stay up late and upload the videos later tonight. I don't think I'll upload them. I can start uploading when I sit down to watch the movie. I'm, once this one's done, I'm going to do the swatch one and color in um, just going to do a little bit of grass. I'm not doing all of this in grass. It just looks funny that way. I'm just doing a little bit. The only way grass would be up that high is if this fairy horse was up against like a hill. So. Yeah, so that was the light color. Now we're going to go in with leaf green. Kind of just do like around this border and up in the tufts of grass and just fade out. So yeah, just, just around the border here. Fade up.
Preschool, mommy's in here. Sounds like Preschool, anyways. Could be Pearl. I forgot I gotta pay two bills today too when I get off of here. When I'm done here. What's the matter, kitty kitty? Are you looking for us? Okay, now I'm taking permanent green. We're just going to go over the border by the borders. Go up a little bit, do a little bit. And shadows and So I watched yesterday's General Hospital. To find out which one is the real Jason and which one's Andrew. And it went the way I hoped it would. Now what the writers do for the with the results that's another story because we all know that they don't always listen to the fans The only storyline, there's like two storylines going on that I don't like. And that is the one with Ava Jerome and Monroe. Dr. Monroe. I don't like that storyline. Going back in with Leaf Green. Over the dark part and just kind of blending it. Molly is snoring. I don't know if you can hear her. So I don't like that story, but then I don't like Ava Jerome anyways, and I wish that they would get her off the show. And I don't like the storyline with Elizabeth and Franco. He needs to leave the show, too.
Wish that they would bring Lucky back. Just get replace the character, replace the actor. He is the father of children that he is neglecting. Okay, now I'm going back in with the grass green and we're just going to go over everything. Yeah, I forgot about these up here. Okay, what are we at for? Uh oh, it's gonna be turning off. Okay, I am gonna say goodbye for now and we will do a next part. So stay tuned for the next part, we will finish this. Bye bye!